everyone, my name is Alberto Marquez. In this video, we will discuss how to create animations in a video. Let's start with a simple model that contains one conveyor and one set of distances for tra a transporter. And um, we are connecting these through sequences. And uh, the way that it, this works is the entity is assigned the sequence in the first assignment. You immediately go to the station. When it uh, leaves, it leaves through a conveyor, conveyor one. It goes into station enter one and exits the conveyor. It goes into a process using resource one and leaves that station by means of a transport, all guided by a sequence. And it is received in, enter, in station enter two, which is, at the moment of arrival frees the transporter. So we want to animate this simple model. And the very first thing that I will do is, if you go to view, you select toolbars, make sure that you have animate transfer. If you have animate transfer, you will see a bar that looks like this. And this is what we need to make the animation. It will be helpful if you also run, if you go to tools, Arena Symbol Factory. The Arena Symbol Factory it's a tool that allows you to have some nice drawings of a standard equipment, which uh, could be architectural components, chemical process, computer hardware, buildings, etc. For purposes of the transporters, we may select vehicles and I will use this forklift. The moment that I select the forklift, I have uh, this row in here. If I right click on it, I can copy this as a GIF file, GIF file or GIF file and um, I can go back to Arena and modify the transporter. Let me do that again. That's this icon that we have here. If you scroll on it, you will see that a tag shows up saying this is a transporter. If you click on it, it will open a different working area. This would be the icon for my transporter one and I can go to the idle by double clicking. Right now it's just a white square. I delete that and I paste the icon that I just copied from uh, the drawings in, uh, in the other tool and I just close it and there you have it, it's right there. If you go back to the Arena Symbol Factory, I can change the color of that vehicle by selecting solid and now, or maybe shaded. And now everything is shaded in color green. You can select other colors for the shading. As, as you see fit. Maybe if I am, um, if I have it uh, working, I may want to have it in a different tone. And um, let's uh, just keep that one. Copy that. Go back to Arena. Go to the BC icon. Delete the square. 
and paste the uh, GIF file that we got from the other application. Let's uh, use those two. We can change the inactive, but right now we're not uh, playing with inactive. And uh, this will be for the transporter. And we hit OK. And we just need to put some, this somewhere. This is the how the icon would look like. And now we are going to define the stations. Here you have an icon for the station, and we need three stations. Station one, we need another station, enter one, and another station, which is uh, enter two. We can, if we double click on that, you can see it's the station one. Double click on that. Right now it says station 2, but we wanted that to be enter 1 station. And uh, we can set the parking for the, for the, uh, trans, um, for the transporters to be there. And, um, Finally, this station will be station enter two. Okay, and we have that. And now we are going to represent the segment that connects station one to enter one and the distance that connects enter one to enter two. And uh, with that, let's see what happens when we run it. Um, the segments have been animated without being okay. We need to we need to identify the segment. If I double click on the segment, it, then the right identifier is not segment one. The correct identifier is conveyor one segment and the correct identifier is not distance one but transporter one's distance okay let's try again there you go we have uh, 10 transporters available and this is how it looks like. I strongly recommend you to save your work uh, because it tends to crash when I have been playing with the animation. Something you can do with the with the conveyor is that you can right now is defined with two points, but you can add the number of points. Maybe set it up in this case to five, and now I can extend this conveyor so we can see the entities flowing a little bit better maybe we can change this location and we could do the same thing with the distance right now it's two points we can set it up to be five points and we can send those Lift trucks on a trip around the canvas. There you go. Now um, we can run this. The fact that you see some of these. Transporter sitting down is because they are waiting to be requested and then later on all of them are busy. 
we can run this at a slower pace and see them moving on when we have the run the setup control the animation the run speed we can reduce the speed by a factor of 100 now it's really going to go slow Here comes the next one. Okay, maybe that's too slow. We don't want to do that. Maybe 10 times faster. And now it's a little bit more interesting. So that's the basics for um, making the animation. As I said, I recommend to save frequently. I'm saving this. And now what I will do is I will include uh, the image for the resource. For that, I will go back to the Arena Symbol Factory. And I can go to some of those equipments. For instance, this machining equipment. Let's take this one for instance, and we are going to copy the original and the icon for the icon for the resource looks like this. I will be working. This will be resource one and in the idle state i delete the the black the, the white square and i copy the item now there is a little dot right there that's a reference point for purposes of location into the graph and we have that that's for resource one and that's the idle I can go to the BC and in order to use the BC I will come here and change the color to the shaded color and I copy the GIF come here delete the square and paste the green image there you go. I will not have inactive and failed uh, resources. This is resource one. I have two type of resources, resource one and resource two. So I will, um, no, actually I just have one resource and I will place it right there. And so the, the product awaits. I can, um, represent the queue for those who are waiting on leave one for to access the conveyor Set, oh it is here I can just it is here I can just bring that one here. Right. If I need more space or more points, I can add more points. Right. So have that and I can add the queue for the process next to stand next to the next to the equipment and the queue for leaf 2 to be just after the equipment 
Very good. And now the entities will be shown right there. Pretty much with 10 uh, transporters, there will be very little weight. For the transporter, the queues are mostly due to waiting for the process. And uh, this is it. This is how you actually animate. Notice that the processor changes color, and if we had uh, fewer transporters, we will we will work on uh, see seeing how many transporters we really need. You can also change the uh, the entity into some other gadget, maybe something that you can import from uh, the uh, Arena Symbol Factory. And um, we can include some conveyors. To represent the conveyors that we have as if we were looking from above maybe some straight line conveyor or something like that we just need to come here and paste Right. Now you can model this such a way that it looks how it is being transformed. You can come here and uh, turn around. You know, it's a, an artistic process. There you go. Now we need to make those lines to match. The behavior. Now, of course, you have the possibility of really zooming out and having most of these things together. Right, so you will have a sum with the logic and a, and a different area for the for the representation the graphical representation. Now in this course, I am not so much concerned with the animation as long as it is reasonable. And um, you know, with enough time, you can do pretty much anything. So, this is how animation is done. I hope you find it uh, useful and fun and uh, spend your time with it. It is not the most important in many cases, but uh, nonetheless, it may be important as a selling point. I will see you next time.